Hey everyone, it's Voss. I'm here with Tails. And today's video is gonna be a lot like some videos earlier this year where I'm gonna tell you this miner's making a crazy number, but you probably already saw it in the title of the thumbnail. This thing is pulling over $90 a day, so almost $100 a day from this miner right here. So let's go ahead and break that down, how that is even possible. Today I'll be reviewing the Obelisk SC1 Sciacoin Miner. And if you watched my recent video, I talked about how it's pretty controversial where they are forking. Basically, they have kicked off all of the current miners that were made for their network and replaced them with just the miners that they created. So yeah, you know, you can look at that as a very centralized play and you can be upset with them. But today we're not gonna be talking too much about that. We're gonna be talking about the actual hardware itself. How is it working? You know, is it performing decent? What's the power draw like? What's the noise level? And above all, how much does it make post fork? Because I can tell you what it made pre fork, and that was $1.50 a day before I paid the electric bill. If you're unfamiliar with Sycoin, which is the 34th biggest cryptocurrency by market cap, they are looking to bring cloud storage to the blockchain, aka decentralizing cloud storage. First off, let's talk about some facts. Can you buy a SC1 right now? No, you're only going to be able to get them second hand. Are they taking orders for more SC1s right now? No, they have they are very behind their deadline of shipping these units but they are now rolling out so your only hope is to get them second hand there's going to be two different models the original model and then there's going to be a slightly updated model that has a more condensed chipset that's basically just going to pack more punch per square foot which is always good to see what about the setup was it easy did it work was it simple let me show you so to get into the unit the standard uh username and passwords is going to be admin admin and once you log in uh you get greeted with a nice dark theme which is really the theme uh that's really taken over lately and i'm all for it i love dark themes you can see i'm i'm using the new mac uh dark theme here right now and uh you can see you know you get your status you get hashboard one hashboard two which uh you know pretty easy to see on the unit and if you go to your pools i'll have uh this copy and paste in the description below um you know if you want to just grab this stuff and then replace it with your address but real easy i'm mining at luxor with pool 3333 and i'm using my sci uh wallet dot worker name password x and off to the races there as far as everything else in the system not too much going on uh, i've got the fan speed uh set at 100 percent and it automatically reboots every eight hours these are going to be standard configurations obelisk has also done an excellent job integrating firmware updates because you just go to this page and you download the scanner it'll scan your network see the miners you have on it and apply and ask you to confirm that you want to apply these updates to those miners it was the biggest breeze of firmware update i've ever seen and every other company should really take this note or take a note from this and put it into their miners it was it was pretty cool to see other than that there's really not much else going on in here and it just simply works. If you wanna go poolside and see what my earnings are like, I haven't hit a full 72 hours yet, but if you're wondering, you know, what are my actual earnings? 14K Sci-Coin, okay? So, for, I mean, that's wild. We, we translate that right now, and, and this current value as of this second is gonna be $90, as opposed to pre-fork with all the saturation of the Sycoin miners before they you know made their centralized move or whatever you know we're not going to be talking about that here today we're talking about just this unit and how it's doing um, pre-fork this thing was pulling 200 Sycoin a day so that is absolutely freaking wild what a turnaround a move like this will make for you if you're unfamiliar with the Sycoin their obelisk company is a joint venture by them so there, there is you know, a little bit of conflict of interest there, obviously. But again, we're not talking about that today. I just wanted to you know, point that out that this is really, really, really interesting stuff. As far as everything else in the actual unit, it's very cool looking. I absolutely love the way it looks. It's like an ASIC finally got some branding. I've been waiting for this for a long time. As far as noise, this is how loud it is at 100% fan speed. This is a quiet unit. You can have it operating quieter than this. This is actually the noise of two units, an SC1 and a, a Decred one, which is, a, which is their Decred Obelisk Miner, which is not too profitable, not nearly like this one after the fork. And uh, I, I've got to, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with an ASIC Miner for the fact that uh, these are something you could kind of keep in your house. Like, you know, if you got a, you got a real house, full house, you got a basement, you could totally stick some of these in your basement. It's not like, you know, the screaming loud uh, panda miner or an ant miner that's running at a crazy heat so that fan's gonna get ramped up and get really loud. It is a much more, you know, 
possibly at home use style ASIC miner. Again, I'm not here, I'm not shilling ASIC miner or anything like that. I'm just saying that this is a good example of a more tame style unit. All in all, the people who purchased these originally kind of got screwed because they paid a lot of Bitcoin last year and they were way behind on their shipping deadline freaking out because all of these Aminer A3s and InnoSilicon S11s, which are more powerful Blake 2B ASIC miners came out and dominated their network. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of frustrating feelings out there and I covered some of that earlier. Um, but as a, I'm just gonna dig back to a little bit of background for you. So originally they were saying the batch one sold 3,800 and then uh, Obelisk had removed their 20%. So they were looking to take 20% of the miners um, so the, the number is now looking to be more like 2,800. And if I compare that with this note of pre-sale details batch one, it says how many units are sold in batch one. So that would be the stating 3,800, but it looks like they removed that 20% figure. And the cost for the unit then was 2,499. But when they were taking those orders, that was like around a Bitcoin, if I recall correctly. So, you know, if you had done nothing, you would have more than double your money if you had just had that Bitcoin. So obviously people are pretty frustrated, especially when they saw that Bitcoin run up to 20, almost 20K. And that's what they're thinking, you know, is if we all would have, you know, had the perfect opportunity to sell at the top. But again, that's a little beside the point. Uh, the point is this has been a very long, frustrating road for early adopters of this hardware. However, let's dive into some more details. So What's really interesting is the batch one units have two boards and three slots. Finally, a company is doing this where they're going to have some miners or you can build out with more boards. Like when you get an ant miner, for example, you should be replacing the boards in it if you want with the new version, the new miner. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't really be getting a whole new miner. It's sort of a waste of space, waste of materials, less cost effective. Um, you know, that like an upgradable ASIC miner seem, it definitely makes sense and would absolutely be my vision of you know the future of uh, you know at least part of, of the mining sector. But either way, the, the batch you, batch two units have one board and two slots, and each board each two board has 32 chips. And here's the key difference in the board: the batch two style has 32 chips on the board, and the batch one style has 15 chips on the board, so it's twice as dense. And that's going to mean that these second batch units and further and from then on are going to be more powerful. Speaking of the upgradable ASIC miner, it says that they'll be launching a pre-sale in the coming weeks for SD1 upgrade boards. So I don't know if you're just going to go ahead and upgrade your all your boards because these are more dense or you're just going to build out your boards a little bit more because, uh, you know, why not increase the hash power? You've already got the unit there and a power supply that's more than capable of pushing those boards because the power supply is rated for about double the power you're pulling, which is about 500 watts, which is two to three amps, depending on your electric setup. And one more note on the upgrade boards is someone's asking about batch six and you can see that uh, Zach Herbert, which is one of their main guys at Obelisk, the current plan is to do just upgrade boards and not a new batch, which again, I, I think that's a cool direction to go. They've also been working on a new thermal epoxy heatsink solution for Gen 1 repl upgrade replacement boards. So it looks like the Gen 1 boards are probably going to get totally replaced. Maybe they'll sell them at a discounter. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. Regardless of your opinion there, I think it's really interesting that they are at least looking to improve upon their design and you know push the boundaries here a little bit, at least within their own design. If you're wondering about what to mine, if you already have some Blake to be miners that have since been made obsolete from SciCoin's fork, there are some other options like Hyperspace, Sci Classic, Sci Prime, and a total junk ERC20 token, which I believe was called Sci Cash Coin. So I have this link in the description if you got some of those miners and you want to dig deeper. The leading uh, options there would be Hyperspace. And a lot of the reasons that's popular is because they airdropped a ridiculous amount of coins to a bunch of people in there in the community. They're time locked for three years, and I guess that's a way to generate some uh, shillers for you, or maybe you know it's a decent project. I haven't seen anything that's very interesting uh, from my point of view. There's also Sci Classics. You know they're taking that Ethereum Classic take on you know that Ethereum Classic took on Ethereum. They've actually hired. Um, you know they're putting up money. They've hired some uh, devs because at the end of the day you need money to make money and uh, launching these projects is definitely not cheap, not as cheap as people think. One more note before I wrap this up for you guys, I wanna show you, you know, what we're looking like on eBay here. 
And uh, you can see units went up in price pretty quickly once people realized how much these units were making. Uh, you know, a month ago, you could have probably bought this miner for like 100 bucks, 200, 500, whatever dollars. Now they're going for 10 times that or more. I watched several of these units go for about three, four thousand dollars over the last couple of days, and it looks like they're going to stabilize around 5,000 or more. But as always with everything, you know, even like stuff in my place, uh, everything's always for sale at the right price. So ultimately, guys, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality. Uh, I really like the unit. I like the way it performs. It's been performing fine, you know, pre-fork, never had an issue with it, and it was making a whopping, you know, dollar fifty a day. Post-fork, it's making a wild ninety dollars USD a day, you know, which still I, I'm I'm really impressed with that number. And the number is not going to stay that way. So please keep that in mind that the this number will continue to go down. They're going to release more and more of their units. I would expect the profitability for this miner to go down to. You know, depending on the side coin price, probably around thirty to forty dollars would be a very would be a nice conservative estimate once all of these miners hit their destination. You know, again with upgrade boards coming into the mix, that'll continue to go down because it's simply more hash. So you know, like every other ASIC miner, earnings will continue to go down as time goes on, and that's why this equipment gets inflated in value in the beginning. Would I buy one? I mean, it depends. If you get it for the right price, like. Two, three, four, five thousand dollars seems like a you know pretty reasonable price for the, or a good price for these, and I, it's crazy if you're in the numbers. If you're even paying over that, you're still probably break even, and uh, it, it's it's just nice to see a miner that's pulling some pretty crazy profits here for once in a while. At the end of the day, this obelisk debacle has been pretty crazy from just you know their initial plans, the hype, the marketing, the branding on these machines to getting you know punched in the face by bitmain with the a3 and then you know just completely romped by in silicon with the s11 to turn around and say you know screw you guys we're gonna fork it and our miners are the best miners and we plan for this because they built a uh, basic kill switch into their miner which we covered way back and this allowed them to fork all of these other miners basically invalidate them off of their network and allow only their miners to be able to mine the network in rain king and get really good earnings and make the uh, adopters of those happy so again this video is not about whether you agree with this or disagree and please don't you know lash out at me because of these decisions i'm here today reviewing the miner telling you what it's doing and just bringing you real world coverage of a miner that i have here right 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 here in the flesh not just reading some stuff online bringing it to you real boss coin and i'm out of stuff to say so i want to tell you to hit that subscribe button Hit the thumbs up, and I hope you guys like the video. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. I just wanna be with